Our warm wishes to all of you. If you are preparing for your job interview specifically for data science with generative AI roles, then this video is for you. In this video, I am going to discuss what are the kind of interview questions you will face in an interview. Nowadays, generative AI is a bloom. Every industry, be it in every field, they are using generative AI. And as a result, there is a huge job market and you can get employed into your dream company if you prepare yourself very well because our interview needs a preparation and here i will tell you in details what are the topics you should prepare what are the kind of questions you can face and how will you prepare this so before starting let me give a short introduction about myself welcome to ad academy the main motto of this channel is ai for arm janta my name is dr ayan devnath i am an iit delhi alumni and fulbright research scholar at harvard university i have total 9 plus years of experience in the field of artificial intelligence deep learning machine learning nlp generative ai let's watch this video welcome to my metaverse so these are the topics on which you have to prepare because generative ai is a specialized field of data science whereas data science is a bigger field right but if you are going for generative ai based roles then an interviewer will assess you not only based on generative ai or large language model they will also ass uh, assess you on the basis of how you good you are in your basics how your fundamentals are and with respect to that you have to prepare for python statistics machine learning deep learning natural language processing that is nlp and then they will go to the advanced level like large language models and what kind of projects you did now i will explain you step by step what are the things which you should prepare and what are the kind of interview questions you can face now coming to python in one or two round you may ask some questions about python it is not necessarily that you will have a question based on python you can have a coding round you may not have a coding round but generally there is a coding round either in round 1 or in round 2 most of the companies have coding rounds where you can be asked some questions based on python and that questions are from basics to intermediate level they will not ask you some high level competitive programming kind of questions they can ask you some questions i am giving you some sample questions like uh, reverse a string or maybe reverse a number say for example if you have a matrix where you have some elements and you have to reverse the elements without using any inbuilt function so how you can do that or maybe they can ask you about how you can generate a fibonacci series or maybe they can ask you some question based on pandas say for example you are given a csv file where you have lots of rows and columns they can ask you to pick some values from particular rows from particular columns based on some conditions okay or maybe you can be asked uh, some questions based on some numpy where you have to do some kinds of addition and multiplication based on on some uh, arrays or they will check how your knowledge is about list then uh, dictionaries these are the basic python questions or maybe they can ask you some data cleaning kind of questions because you are actually going for nlp or generative ai based roles so they are you can ask some questions on data cleaning like so for example there is a sentence like say for example i love nlp where you have some characters like this these characters are not needed so they can ask you how you can clean your data where this character will not be there so here you have to get some knowledge on data cleaning so this kind of interview questions you might face based on the coding now coming to statistics in statistics they generally ask you basic questions but you should have that fundamental strong they can ask you some question based on say z test so what is z test or what is t test uh, what is anova uh, what is uh, p value then they can ask you some questions uh, based on correlation co covariance what is the difference between them or they can ask you some questions based on hypothesis testing and this is very very important thing hypothesis testing is a very important concept you should know about this concept very well this is very important okay where well, you can be asked some questions based on like um, say for example they can ask you some questions based on confusion matrix or uh, what is uh, say true positive false positive and what is uh, type 1 error 
what is type 2 error which which one is more dangerous type 1 error or type 2 error this kind of question they can ask you or they can ask you some question based on accuracy based on f1 score based on some precision recall this kind of question you may face and these topics are very very important so you should revise yourself based on this type of topics okay before going for an interview now coming to machine learning machine learning is also very important because they want to assess how your fundamentals are that is important okay so in machine learning you can be asked some questions based on say svm support vector machine so what are the different kinds of hyperparameters which are generally used in support vector machines okay then what is the role of gamma in support vector machine then you can be asked some questions about say k means what is k means clustering in k means clustering what is elbow method okay and how will you find the optimal value for the elbow method then you can be asked some questions about on decision tree this is a very important topic in uh, machine learning so what is decision tree uh, what are the different kinds of hyper parameters are there in uh, decision tree and then how you avoid overfitting in uh, decision tree this is another important question generally people ask this so where you can tell like you can use pruning technique there are different kinds of pruning techniques this kind of question might come then what is the optimal value of the tree which, which you should take then some questions might come based on random forest which is another important algorithm and you should learn about this so in random forest you can be asked some questions uh, based on like on hyperparameters then how you can optimize a uh, uh, random forest then what is a bootstrap algorithm in random forest so this kind of questions are very very common and then you can also learn about logistic regression uh, linear regression then what is lasso technique uh, what is reach how you do uh, uh, different kinds of optimization in machine learnings so these are very important uh, things and then okay then uh, regularization technique so these are very very important topics okay now coming to deep learning in deep learning they give importance because this is also another important thing and the basis for the nlp and generative ai in deep learning you can be asked some question based on artificial neural network what is artificial neural network what is an activation function and what kind of activation function you can use for defined cases lay say for example when you use a uh, sigmoid function when you use common then you should prepare yourself about optimizer different kinds of optimizer adam optimizer there are lots of optimizer momentum rms prop so what are these and how and when you will use what kind of optimizers in what kind of scenario okay uh, these are very 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 important topics now coming to uh, some questions on cnn cnn based questions are also very important where what is tried how a convolutional neural network work so what is convolution okay this kind of questions now coming to nlp now this is very important because the basics of generative ai mostly lies in nlp mostly in the textual data you will find more application nowadays obviously generative ai has applications in image that is why cnn is also another important topic i have uh, told you but in nlp there are lots of questions and you should prepare the topics for the nlp so in nlp what are the kind of things uh, on which you should learn so generally in nlp they can ask you questions on what is stemming what is lemmatization then what is the difference between uh, stemming and lemmatization and what is the use cases when you have to use which one so use cases are very important you should know and you have to explain it when and where you will use what kind of technique then comes coming to some word embedding techniques in word embedding you can be asked some questions on bag of words what are the advantage and disadvantage of bag of words when to use bag of words then when you can use tfidf okay then when you can use what to wake what is the advantage of what to wake what is the advantage of what to wake over these two technique bag of words and tfidf there are different kinds of what to wake techniques okay now coming to some questions on sequence to sequence 
sequence to sequence is important topic then coming to rnn what is rnn how an rnn works what is lstm what is lstm architecture okay uh, what is bidirectional rnn and bidirectional lstm when when to use bidirectional over simple rnn architecture or lstm architecture in what cases okay we have to give some examples and then comes and very very important topic is transformer transformer came in the year 2017 and from that time onwards transformer has changed the game it changed the game for the world of nlp and from there onwards the generative ai came into picture so this what is transformer so there is a paper called transformer is all you need so that paper you can go through it i have done lots of videos on nlp i have a playlist for nlp you can go through that uh, i have uh, a playlist on generative ai where i have explained the transformer in much detail so in transformer what you will learn like transformer has defined parts one part is encoder another part is in uh, decoder so what is encoder what is decoder uh, how the architecture are if the architecture are different then how they are different then uh, what is self attention uh, mechanism self attention mechanism is very important and it is the task of transformer then what is multi head self attention mechanism then how you do decoding in uh, transformer so these are very very important things which you should know about transformer the transformer topic is very important you should uh, get hands on also on transformer and theory also on transformer okay obviously hands on are very very important whatever you do hands on is very important now coming to some advanced techniques since it is a generative ai based role so obviously we are going for some generative ai based roles interviews so you will be asked some questions on large language model now coming to large language model so what are the common types of large language model like what is bart what is bart brt what is the difference between them so these topics are very very important and you should know about these topics then coming to few open source uh, large language model so like you you should know about say llama so llama has different versions so llama 2 llama 3 recently llama 3.1 came into market so what are these open source models how you can use these open source models then uh, google gamma okay and then if you go for some kind of like say paid uh, models so in paid model so like you can learn about say open ai okay in open ai has different kinds of frameworks so frameworks like say for example a uh, lang chain okay then llama index so these are the important topics on which you should have some knowledge if you don't have knowledge on these topics then obviously don't sit for that interview you should get a good knowledge on these things then the theory portion of it so theory portion means like how you are doing a fine tuning okay fine tuning is important so how you do a fine tuning on your pretend model so these topics are very important where you have to know how you are using lora technique what is PIF technique? Parameter efficient fine tuning technique. Okay. What is LoRa? What is Q LoRa? Quantized LoRa. Okay. LoRa is low rank adaptation technique. So you have to know the details how these techniques work. Fine tuning is an important topic you should know. Then how to train a custom model. So how you can train a custom large language model. So if you have to train it from the very basic then how will you train it then how will you do an inference on it these are very very important things which you should know about okay then if you go for some advanced topics in llm you can be asked some questions on uh, uh, vector database okay what is vector database that is so what is no sql okay and then my sql then you can be asked some topics on um rag okay rag is important nowadays like all lots of projects in there they are using rag then what is search algorithm how you implement these techniques in search algorithm these are very important things okay you should 
uh, know about these things and then obviously they will ask you what kind of project you have did so you have to explain what kind of end to end project you did end to end means like from where you have collected the data you can't say that you have uh, got some codes from github you only just downloaded the code and you have a data and just you have used that code on your data and you have trained a model you got some accuracy and then like you, know, you do some validations so this this everybody knows these things nowadays this kind of answers will not land you to a good job because most of the people are doing these kinds of thing and in github lots of codes are there in um, like kaggle everywhere you will get lots of codes okay but you have to know how a project works so you have to actually do some hands on implementation on lots of things on rnn lstm then transformer on some open source models by using hugging face okay so here i have forget to explain this hugging face hugging face is also very very important uh, while coming to large language model so here let me write hugging face so how you use defined models in hugging face i have created lots of videos on hugging face so you can go and you can watch those videos now coming to this uh, project so what kind of defined projects you have did from where you collected the data uh, like if you are collecting the data from some open source then explain how that data is you can do some exploratory data analysis on the data to understand how the data is actually because without understanding how the data don't blankly use it okay then you will land up into something which is not useful if you did garbage in then you will get garbage out so obviously you have to understand about the data okay now you know how about the data so i am not saying that you have to be a data analytics to know the data but being a data scientist you have to know how our data works how the data is okay so that's why eda is very important so how you get the data then how you are doing the coding so how you are creating your own transformer model or maybe if you are use, using some kinds of models say example bart then how you are using it okay then this fine tuning and all these things you should know these things and for these projects like you have to do lots of projects and these are the basic parts of the projects which you should know in projects like what kind of project you can do there are uh, many projects on say for example on uh, text summarization text uh, generation text classification okay so this uh, text uh, generation this kind of things you can have a hands on then say for example email automated system um, you can try out with like chatbot how you can build a chatbot using say langchain okay so this kind of projects you should know or you should have some idea about how to implement these things you have to do actually hands on and then finally not but least last but not the least is deployment if you have some idea on deployment after uh, creating a project if you do some deployment it will give you an edge i am telling you from my own experience that if you have deployment uh, experience then it will be very much helpful it's not like that you are working in a company then only you can have deployment experience but you can have from your own say for example how you deploy a model in aws or maybe in oracle cloud or maybe in uh, say azure uh, or any some other platform okay how you deploy that model how you created dockers so these things are very important you should have an understanding about deployment in a little bit or maybe you are using say fast api kind of uh, framework okay for your deployment so that will be also helpful for you so uh, i have given an overview about what kind of questions it might come for an uh, generative ai based roles now in my upcoming video i will tell you what are the answers to it okay if you are being asked this kind of question then what you will give answers so i will create lots of video around these things okay keep watching my video subscribe to my channel for more such contents and share this video with all of your friends who are enthusiastic and wanted to know about data science and skyrocket their career by landing to their dream job in data science in generative ai roles see you soon in my next video